Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the NBA. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter is Ali LaForce. A look at the Pelicans' starting group, Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones, and it's Ingram in at the three. And for Houston, Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards, and it's Shangoon in at the five spot. We'll be keeping an eye on the front courts in this one. Both teams very skilled at the four and the five, Clark. And you know what? It's a nice contrast in this age of small ball and positionless basketball. It's good to see the front court players thriving and making it happen. And the tip goes to Houston. Now Van Vliet. Stolen by Valanchunas. McCullum with it. And it's Shangun picking him up. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Here's Williamson, guarded by Van Vliet. And there's Williamson on the assist by Ingram. Outstanding decision making by Ingram there, working it to the open man. Really good possession. Brooks against Ingram. Now here's Brooks, tightly guarded. Yep, that one goes. And Grant, the Rockets opening up the pocketbooks. Brought in several vets over the summer. Yeah, I mean, Van Vliet and Brooks are the big names. I mean, they wanted to spend to get leaders to help their young core. We'll see how it mixes, but they feel now it's the time to make their move. Pass to Jones. Five on the clock. McCullum on the wing. Puts up a three. First shot won't go. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Here's Green. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but finishes like this from Green, I think, demonstrate how tough he is. Now here's Williamson. Last game with 30. Here's Valanciunas. Good D by Shangun. The Rockets on offense. Their last encounter was in New Orleans, where they were able to handle the Pelicans. The last time out, they barely captured a win against this team, and it came down to some key turnovers. Well, composure, execution, efficiency in a tight ball game is typically what's going to determine the winner. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. He hits the second from the line. Wow, the kid from Turkey, Alperin Sengun. Clark, he's really figuring it out quickly. He sure is, B.A. I mean, scoring has not been a problem for Shingun. A bit undersized as a center, but he's found a way to beat teams with his quickness, and it's all about utilizing your strengths, and the sooner you figure that out, the better off you are. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. A moment here to see the numbers for Brandon Ingram. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. Here's Green. With the teardrop. Jones with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there.
Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Eason. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Zeller. The shot to stop the run. Misses at the rim. You know, even though it's a point blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Tate passes to Green. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Zeller. And the layup is good. With Zeller, you've got to get a body on him because if you don't, he's going to hurt you on the offensive glass. To the paint. That's good from Tate on the assist by Thompson. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Rebounded by Green. Pass to Thompson. Four seconds left. And so it's Houston leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, what do you think about the Rockets? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Six-point game. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face them. And that'll launch a four-game homestand for them. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. And it's Brooks in at the three. That's the five for Houston right now. Down low. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. And so McCullum will bring it up for New Orleans. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. McCullum with a steal. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Back to Jones. From behind the arc. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. We know CJ can score it, but the passing component of his game, I mean, McCollum's really upgraded it. It's Van Vliet with a drive. Brooks outside. Fires for three. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Brooks has got five points now this quarter. The Pelicans trail. McCollum pass to Williamson. Pass to Valentunas. Green against Jones. Six to shoot. Valentunas with it. Good D by Shangoon. On the wing, Brooks. Covered by Ingram. And he comes up with a bucket. Brooks has got nine points. And give Brooks credit. I mean, the defense put up a stiff challenge. And in the end, he gets the better of the matchup with great offense. Now here's Valanchunas. Still no points. Here's Jones. Uses the glass on the layup. We're about halfway through the regular season here, Grant. We've had some surprising teams and players. Yeah, you know, every season we have at least one team that exceeds expectations. And one that kind of lets us all down. But what I love the most is seeing breakout players that take this league by storm. New Orleans calls timeout. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated.
And the Rockets will go for a different look here. Green's checked in for Shangun. Eason comes in for Smith. Tate's checked in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Van Vliet. Eason with a steal. Pass to Thompson. A minute six left in the second quarter. Eason can't get it to go. The Pelicans have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Hawkins. Shot clock at five. Fires high post. They grab their own miss. Shot is good by Nance. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Outside Tate. Brooks outside. Pass to Thompson. Poke loose. Oh, he tries a three. Here's Easton. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. And so it's the Houston Rockets finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be back in a moment. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a solid eight-point lead. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, they've shown a lot of discipline at the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. Kenny, let's get your opinion on New Orleans. Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they can do that, this game's still within it. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And if you're just joining in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Look at Dylan Brooks. What a contribution. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And it's Jones with the ball for New Orleans. Trailing by eight. Second half underway. Here's who Willie Green's got on the floor. Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. The backcourt, McCullough and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. Here's Green. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Fires the three. The Pelicans pull it in. I think they could have gotten a better shot attempt there if he wasn't so eager to let it fly. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Zion Williamson is a one-man wrecking crew inside. His coach, Willie Green, said, quote, it's incredible his touch when he gets down to the lane with two, three guys hanging on him, and he's still somehow able to find the glass, and he does a great job of finding his teammates as well. And, Brian, let's not forget about those dunks either. Oh, definitely not. That's the show. Thanks, Allie. And so it's Houston with it. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago, here in the second half of play. We're just over a minute in. Brooks outside. Clock at six. Got it from about 16 feet. Brooks has got 11 points. Such a reliable mid-range shooter. Brooks doesn't hesitate when he sees an opportunity to rise up from there. McCullum, the pass to Jones. Ingram against Green. Step back and fire. And they pick up two. Ingram's gotten his first bucket of the night. 
their offense trying to find its way back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. Outside, Green. Van Vliet finds Shangun. Oh, it's blocked by Valentunas. Yeah, you got to be aware when Valentunas is in the area. He's capable of sending your shot back. Tate's checked in for Brooks. Daniels is checked in for the Pelicans. 156 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Daniels. And here's Valentunas. Cans it with nobody near him. Boy, they had a rough stretch shooting in the first half. I mean, they've seemingly made the changes they've needed to make to improve that shooting percentage. Now here's Van Vliet. No points yet. It's stolen by Ingram. Here's Daniels, guarded by Van Vliet. Knocks it loose. And here we go, the Rockets in transition. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. When it comes to the real NBA, here are the assist leaders. The fourth spot held by Fred Van Vliet. He has a great eye for where to send the ball. And you know his teammates love playing with an unselfish guy like him. That free throw, no good. Well, you talk about a player who's all heart. That's Jay Sean Tate, Clark. Absolutely, and he's overcome so much. Family tragedy at a young age, told he was too small, undrafted, spent some time in Europe to refine his game through it all. Smiling and working hard is what Jay Sean Tate has been about. Couldn't be happier for that young man. And the second free throw is good. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Zeller. To the inside. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, that's a case where the defense was working hard to shut Zeller down, but he just kind of powered through to draw the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. trip coming up empty missing both you know way back in 2012 Clark it looked like Jeff Green's career was going to be cut short yeah we all were worried about whether or not he would be able to continue to play he had life-saving open heart surgery then worked extremely hard to get back out onto the basketball court and what a career he's managed to put together after that amazing Here's Daniels. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Down to five on the shot clock. Hawkins. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Yeah, you know, in Cody Zeller, I think they've got a guy who does all the little things like making good, smart passes and creating open shots for others. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. He's covered by Tate. Here's Daniels. No made baskets yet. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Tari Eason. As one of the top two-way players in the draft, Daniels was on a lot of teams' radar, and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Yeah. 
And he drops the first. Both teams will make substitutions. Also good, so he hits both free throws. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Rockets ahead, up one. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Green and Brooks on the perimeter. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. That's the five for Houston right now. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Now here's McCollum to take the lead. It counts! And the foul! It goes on Fred Van Vliet. And after getting smoked earlier in this game, they battled back to take the lead. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pelicans. Well, you know, their offensive rebounding throughout this one has been clutch, timely. I mean, it's kept the ball out of the enemy's hands and gotten them lots of second-chance points. That's a winning recipe. Well, another thing they've been doing right in this one is making the most of turnovers. Lots of points for them tonight off of them. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Rockets. Two-point game. Next up, the Knicks in New York. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. The three is up. Gets a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Fighting to earn the second chance opportunity on the foul shot. This is exactly what Coach wants from Shangun. Now here's Valanchunas. Pass to Jones. Just five to shoot. Back to Valanchunas. Count it. And the Pelicans lead by two. And offensively, it appears they've hit their stride. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. Here's Van Vliet. With his first shot attempt. They get it again. Oh, it's blocked by Valanchunas. Williamson passes to McCollum. Now Valanchunas. Outside Jones. The Rockets pull it in. shangun has got five rebounds tonight to the paint. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. <laughs> wow. Smith going for a slam. He wants everyone to know that he's arrived. New Orleans calls timeout. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jonas Valanciunas. You just simply can't measure how valuable he's been to them tonight. Using his head, great shooting percentage, not taking any bad shots. Wow, that led to a pretty spectacular game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. Coach was blunt with his assessment. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. They're part of becoming a star for Ingram. It's performing at the line in these moments. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And that gives him a lead. You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Uh, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. And he's unable to get the second one. Left a little on the table there, but at least he put them in front. So he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And this is who they want at the line. This team trusts Van Vliet to come up big. The first one drops, and that ties this game up. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. Tate's checked in for the Rockets. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. In a tight game, this is who they want taking these shots. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And that one's good. And the Pelicans lead by one. You want Ingram to take over in these situations. And he does just that when his number is called. Timeout called. Houston. They trail by one. 121 left in the fourth quarter. left in the final quarter. Van Vliet with it. Wing shot on the way. And right through it goes! Van Vliet's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. Now here's Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Just five on the clock. Here's Ingram. 
Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And Valanciunas' teammates love seeing him come up huge, knowing he's ready to score when called upon. Smith. Oh, he got it! He got it! And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Pass to Ingram. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. Excellent D there from Tate. And they go to the intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. Doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he does get the second one. And that'll put him up, too. And the Pelicans call time here. They're trailing by two. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Van Vliet against McCullum. Pass to Ingram. He got a piece of it. Lots of athleticism for the long center. Shingun getting it done. And so the big win by Houston in a tight game. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.